Hey there folks and welcome to another episode of A Healthy Dose of Fran. Today, the Avatar returns in a new theory episode by yours truly in relation to the phenomenal series Avatar The Last Airbender. Today I have had some help from the fantastic Opal the Airbender whose Instagram is linked down below and today's episode is about the Air Nomad genocide, in particular to Zozin and how his act of killing the air nomads was in fact an act of cowardice. Now what we do know about the air nomad genocide is firstly that it was headed up by Zosin himself who wanted to use the power of a comet that was due to arrive to superpower his army and destroy the air nomad nation and that other than Aang there were no airbender survivors or were there but that's for another video but other than those two facts and that the attack happened when Aang was 12 we don't actually know that much in relation to the air nomad genocide that's where my theories come in now because we don't know that much about the genocide in general, it was quite easy to come up with theories in relation to it. However, when I started doing this, I realised that I actually wanted to make my theories fit and make sense in the universe and in the story as we know it. So it wasn't too fanon-like, but was actually plausible for the world that it was, it was to fit in. So that meant I had to look a lot deeper. And it turned out to be that there was a lot of evidence to support that Zosin was actually a coward. And here are my reasons why. The first one being that he attacked the Air Nomad Nation, one of the most peaceful nations in the world. A completely pacifist society who did not want to do harm to someone or anyone or anything in the world. So he decided to attack them because they were an easy target. They had no army. They had no reason to suspect anything. There wasn't much to show that the Fire Nation were planning such an attack. We even hear it in the opening titles. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. No one suspected such an attack let alone the air nomads who wouldn't see something like that coming, especially towards them, seeing as they are the most peaceful nation. Towards the Earth Kingdom, that I could even more understand because they are one of the biggest nations in the world. They have the strongest army, they have the strongest defences. But that's the reason why Zosin didn't use the comet, uh, the comet to attack them, because they can fight back. They are trained to fight back. The air nomads aren't. And that's my first reason to why Sozin is a coward. Second, we actually see in episode two of book three, Fire, where we learn about the history books and the history that is taught to the Fire Nation as a whole. In that, when there is a pop quiz when Aang is at the Fire Nation school, and they refer to the air nation having an army and Aang speaking up and saying they didn't have an army. Fire Lord Sozin defeated them by ambush, which is true. But the shock and horror that his words receive shows that this nation has been taught to believe that the Air Nation were an actual threat. And I believe the reason why that was taught is because Sozin knew that if they heard that he and his army had attacked the most peaceful nation, which admittedly must have been known at this time, but you know how dictators work. They change everything to suit their narrative. And that's exactly what Sozin did. The third reason, and this one was helped by Opal the Airbender, the third reason is that Sozin himself says this in a way that he was afraid. He attacked the air nomads because the Avatar was an air nomad and the Avatar was the only person he knew 
would be able to stop him because he's seen Roku do the exact same thing to him by destroying his palace. And in the episode, book three, episode six, the Avatar and the Fire Lord, he knows that they have to find a way to destroy the Air Nomads so they can destroy the Fire Nation's only threat, the Avatar. So he killed men, women and children, all innocents, out of fear and cowardice at the, th at the thought that this avatar could stop all his plans like Roku did. I've seen the colony, Sosen. How dare you occupy Earth Kingdom territory? And the final reason? Isn't even a reason, really, because out of everything that he's done, out of all the things that I've just talked about, him attacking a pacifist nation with no army, who were an easy target, whilst using the superpower of a comet to destroy them, doing so out of fear for the power of the Avatar, and killing innocent people, and then changing your own history to make it seem like what they did was justified. How can any of that be done by a strong and secure and uncowardly man? The reason is because it wouldn't be. Sozen, Fire Lord Sozen, was and is a coward. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with me that Fire Lord Sozen was in fact a coward when attacking the Air Nation? Or do you think he had other motives for killing the Air Nomads? Let me know in the comment section down below. Again, thank you so much to Opal the Airbender for helping me with this video and for your contributions. Her link to her Instagram, again, is in the description box down below, as well as the links to my Instagram and my Patreon, where on Patreon you can get early access to any and all of my videos, as well as have a say as to what comes out in future. Here on YouTube, however, if you're not already subscribed, go to the button down below or click the one popping up here on screen. If you want to check out any of my previous theory episodes, the playlist will be popping up here. And then my previous Avatar video will be popping up here. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.